everybody, this is Praxis. If you are someone who loves to go out camping, you don't really need to see this video. This video is for people who would love to go out camping, but it's not really part of your life yet. And it's a video about maybe getting into it. Camping not only is a great fun thing you can do for yourself and it's a family thing, but also camping is a great way of kind of preparing for emergency situations because Camping, if you think about it, is kind of like throwing yourself out of your home, like, uh, you know, into a new environment and, you know, having supplies, preps to, uh, you know, to cope with that. Uh, if you look around, this is the campsite here, by the way, we're in the White Mountains National National Forest uh, in the, uh, what's it called? Lafayette, Lafayette Campground. Uh, this is site number 81 at Lafayette. This is my favorite site here because it's one of the very few sites that's actually level. There's a lot of sites when they're kind of on a slope, and I just can't sleep in a tent on a slope, and just like always rolling, and it's just it's really uncomfortable. So, anyway, site 81 is my favorite here. Um, one great thing to have is a way of cooking food. I always like to bring this rocket stove with me, a cook pot that can go up on top of it easily. Whenever I get to a campground, River and I usually go around. We find just well, here's what we find: just bags full of embers from other people's fires that they just left behind, and you can just cook whole meals on that. Uh, need almost no wood at all if you get a rocket stove you know to you know heat up water and do whatever you want I'm having some tea right now always have kind of a, a tarp set up and you can see that it's held up by these kind of stakes here and tied off in the back if it's drizzling or anything like that and you still want to be able to be outside and prepare food having a tarp over your cook area is really important as you can see behind you we're just car camping nothing crazy here we're just it was you know, a way of getting out, and River loves going to Santa's Village up in Jefferson, New Hampshire. That's a theme park that he likes going to. Um, uh, but today we did a pretty big hike up Cannon Mountain, which is just behind you over here. It was an all-day kind of thing. Uh, kind of kicked both of our butts. I uh, got a few little injuries here and there. Uh, my, my legs are pretty tired. But the point is, it's really fun, it's really enjoyable, and it's really challenging to get out and do camping if it's not something that you do all the time. And in terms of being preparation for emergency situations, you can't get better than you know just throwing yourself out camping. And if you want to come up with what would be good for a bug out bag, uh, bug out bags, that kind of thing, go out and go camping. See what you need. You'll find out really quickly what you miss. Sometimes I miss tea, so I bring some tea bags in, in my bug out bags. My bug out bags are exactly the same as my camping bags. I keep them permanently packed at my house, so within five or ten minutes notice, I can be out and I can be camping. There's a chipmunk over there. You can check him out if you don't want to look at this visage, right? He's coming this way. Can I pretend to throw him something? See if he comes over here. That was mean. But there he is. And you get to interact with local wildlife. Thanks for watching.